Hey guys, it's Michaela. I am here to talk to you about my running journey that has now turned into a fitness journey because I don't know how to not overtrain. First day, ran four miles with an average pace of 18 minutes. Second day, ran three miles with an average pace of 14 minutes. And then day three, ran four miles with an average pace of 13 minutes. Day four and five, I couldn't get past a mile because my legs hurt so bad. And um, the reason this running, this video started on the 10th, even though I was running the 7th, the 8th, and the 9th is because I was making content for TikTok and I didn't make content in this frame. Like it was all portrait and this is landscape. And even though I want to include my TikToks in this video, I can't because this, the music is going to get copyrighted. I already tried. So if you would like to see the first three days of my running journey, check out my TikTok. The beginning of this video was filmed on the 10th of April. It is now the 19th of April and I have yet to run since. <sighs> this is going to be a little of what not to do when you start a running journey. Please do not run three to four miles for three days straight as a beginner. Why did I think that was a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. But I, I regret it. I when I finally accepted the fact that I had to rest my legs, I got in the pool. And then what did I do? I overtrained again. And now my shoulders hurt. Do I regret it? No. Am I paying for it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I really wish I could have doc I could like show you the first three days because it's like the most entertaining and I'm the most proud of it but you're probably you're gonna see in this video you're gonna see like the worst side of my fitness journey and I shouldn't say the worst side because it's not that bad I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, but yeah, moral of the story, rest. It is okay to rest. Rest does not mean you are giving up. It just means you need to recover. And everyone needs to recover once in a while. But yeah, this is day four of my running journey. I hope you learned something from this video, but here it is. What's up guys? This is the fit for today. Kindness. I think I am gonna go to the gym because I wanna bike 
run and use the Norma Tech boots. But it's so nice outside. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to put this in or not. I just want it to. It's not even a great fit. It's just what I'm going to run in. So. Hey guys, I'm at the gym right now. Um, I just spoke to my boss and we had a really great conversation about me possibly becoming a PT, a personal trainer, and uh, it's looking really good. I'm super excited for this opportunity and uh, I'm gonna have to work really hard for this, I think, because I'm working full time and it's gonna take a lot of studying, but I definitely think I could do this. Um, uh, I think this is gonna be so fun. But I'm at the gym. Uh, I'm at the gym. It is 117. My um, Norma Tech boot appointment is at 130. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm going to bike for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna do my three miles. I have to clock into work at four. It's like almost 1.30 right now. So I think I have plenty of time. Uh, but after that conversation with my boss, I'm just so excited. I'm really excited. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think it's gonna be good. All right, I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm in the cycling right. Um, I'm in the cycling room right now, and uh, there's no one here. Usually there's cycling classes Monday through Friday, or Monday through Sunday, I should say. But the instructor sits right over there, and then these are all the seats. The lights in here are so cool, but. I'm just gonna warm up my legs for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go run my three miles. <sighs> After the Norma Tech boots, my legs are feeling pretty good. My ankle, my right ankle still hurts just a little bit, but I think we're gonna be okay. It's an easy run. <sighs> let's, let's make this an easy run. I want, <sighs> yeah. I want to push myself so bad today, but I know I shouldn't. But we'll see. We shall see. Hey guys, I've been biking for 12 minutes and I'm so sweaty. Can you see this? Like, <laughs> I've only been biking for 12 minutes. I mean, the intensity is kind of high, but still, like, oh my gosh. Uh, they have towels here for us to wipe our sweat. I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a sweat update. Um, eight more minutes to go. So I just started my three miles. I'm a minute 34 seconds in and I'm walking at a pace. I'm walking at a pace of 3.0 miles per hour. My heart rate, I have to keep my heart rate at 145 or lower. Um, okay. There you go. Okay. 
I was literally running at 5.0 miles an hour for two minutes and my heart rate is already at 145. So I'm walking. I think this is gonna take a long time. I don't know. We'll just, I'll keep you updated as I go. Okay, bye. Okay, my heart rate is down to 115. So I'm gonna start running at five miles per hour again. Okay. My heart rate went back up within like 30 seconds. So I think this is gonna take a really long time. I'm at 0 0.46 miles, eight minutes and 16 seconds. We gotta do three miles. Okay, um, I'm at 0 0.98 miles and I'm at 18 minutes and 7 seconds. I don't like this, it's like, it's going by so slow, but my legs, my shins hurt so bad right now. So I'm grateful but I don't like moving at this pace. I'd much rather be running, but again, we have to train smart. And uh, yeah, I don't think my legs have it in them, and I don't think my legs have it in them right now to run over five miles an hour. So. Yeah. Hey guys, so, I made a discovery. I'm not going to be able to run every single day. I did a mile and a half. And my legs hurt so bad. Like, I started limping. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You can walk. You can fucking walk. Just walk. But I got to a mile, I was just so bored. I got so bored walking. And now, yeah, I tapped out at a mile and a half today. But there's always tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This, if this pain doesn't go away within the next two days, I'm out of luck. I'm out of luck. Oh, oh my god, how do people do this? But yeah, I have work in an hour. Um I could swim after I get off. I could do cardio that way, but we'll see. I'm gonna be sad if I don't do some type of exercise today. I did 20 minutes on the bike and then I did one and a half miles on the treadmill. So, let's see what else I can do. Okay, bye. Come with me to run as much as I can before I have to clock in to work. It's 2 o'clock and I have to clock in at 2.30, so I'm hoping I can get 2 miles in. Alright, let's go. Okay, I have to stop because my legs hurt so bad. Um, I ran 0 0.77. And I ran that with an average speed of 5.3. And if I had finished my mile, it would have been 11.34. Oh my god, my shins hurt so bad. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like, long term. Whew. Okay. Let's go get ready for work.
As you can tell from the beginning of this video, I was in a lot of pain. I just couldn't sustain the level of intensity that I was putting, the level of intensity and pressure I was putting on my body. Like, my lower legs were like, no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to put up with you and your delusional ambitions. So that is when I decided to rest my legs. Did I stop overtraining? No. I decided to then get in the pool and overtrain. I Let me start off by saying that I have not swam over a thousand yards since what year is it? 2021. Okay. And when I couldn't run anymore, I was like, hey, I'm going to get in the pool. This is what I know how to do. I do this really well. I'm going to crush this. And I did. Not going to lie to you. I fucking crushed it. I swam 3.6 miles in two and a half hours. And when I tell you I was on cloud nine, I was so high. I was high off of exercise. And if you've ever experienced that, it's crazy. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Can't say enough good things about... Have you ever had runner's high? Runner's high is an amazing experience and I got to experience that through swimming 3.6 miles um, but moral of the story is rest your body because it's just the right thing to do like, I don't understand why I couldn't accept that my body needs rest because after pushing my legs to the point where they basically gave up on me, I, des I decided to push my shoulders to the point where they also gave up on me. I'm probably only gonna rest for two days it's friday i'm not gonna swim tomorrow i'm not gonna swim on sunday i will definitely be in the pool on monday when it comes to running i definitely need to develop a plan for my i need to develop a plan for my training for my recovery, for my eating. So much preparation should be going into something like this. But I was just so excited that I skipped so many steps and I totally regret it now. I do, I really regret it. But back to the main point is please don't overtrain like, I overtrained the first three days of my running journey that has now turned into just a fitness journey. I'm just trying to get back into shape. I ran way too hard, way too fast, and I crashed. My legs were like, no, you're not going to disrespect us like this. And I was like, damn, okay. I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't, I could not walk. 
as you can see from the beginning of this video. But if you watch my next YouTube video, I basically fell in love with swimming again. I fell head over heels for this sport and there's a lot of things that I'm hoping to accomplish with swimming in the next few months that I'm not going to share right now. I'm not going to share them until I actually accomplish them because I just want it to work out so bad. I can't believe that I actually thought that I was going to be able to run three to four miles a day every day. And I can't believe I actually thought I was going to be able to swim two to three miles a day every day. My shoulders hurt so bad. But. The. The way I felt after swimming 3.6 miles. I can only explain as being unbelievably high okay it was so euphoric it was so therapeutic like I can't explain it to you like I felt so good and when I felt that way I needed to do it again like I was like I gotta do it again but my body needs to rest. And that's okay. That is okay. Chill out. Okay. Um. Yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.